Hello everyone. Welcome back to my SAP channel, SAP Artist. Please do like and subscribe the channel for more SAP videos. So today's topic is SAP integration with third party software. So today I'll be going through the process of integration and will be showing you an example of how the entry gets posted from third party software into SAP. So let's start. So this is a slide which I have created the integration part with third party, third party software, API, SAP, JSON format, push and pull. I'll come back to this slide later after explaining you so that you can understand more better. Process of SAP with third party software. This process is used when you want to post data from third party software to SAP. Okay. It's a third party software which we are posting the data and it is coming into SAP. The data is getting posted. So in this process, we can transfer data to third party software through API or RFC, you know, interfaces. This is, these are interfaces through API, RFC. It depends on the consultants working on it, you know, the functional and the other third party software consultant also, how they want to receive data and push data. So once they agree, then they will use that interface. To transfer the data from API, in my example, I had used BAPI from SAP to post the document. So what is happening when the data is being pushed to SAP, I am using BAPI to post the document in SAP. So BAPI is my, you know, whatever I've created in that way, it will pull the data into SAP. So we need to create a BAPI as per the requirement and give it to the technical person to map it. So now client has told me example in my uh, example, it is there, you know, we are going to post an entry like example. Uh, expense to vendor type, you know, GL account to vendor. So for that, I've created a BAPI as per whatever required reference, uh, document data text, invoice reference, all these fields, which are fields are required. And I've created a BAPI and I'll be giving it to the technical person who is the ABAP consultant and to map it. So in this, my technical person will, the ABAP consultant will discuss the, you know, the interfaces of and the data, how what has to be linked with the technical consultant of the third party software. Example, I'll tell you now. The BAPI used for SAP posting was BAPI account document post. So this is a standard BAPI in SAP, which I've used for posting the document into SAP, okay. So in API, through JSON format, the data is transferred from third party software. So in our example, I have, we, we are transferring the data through JSON format. So this is what I was talking about is the technical person will discuss with the other technical guy of the third party software. So they will both work on this format, you know, how to get, you know, the receive the data or on the other side, push and pull the data. Okay. Into SAP example, if I'm pulling the data into SAP after pushing the data, how to get it and how to map the fields so that correctly I can get it. Okay. So in JSON format, the data which we are receiving in SAP is written as per the SAP technical name so that it can read the data properly. So what normally does the person do, what I have seen, is that he will write example this equal to GL account, this equal to this, so that when we are receiving the data, it comes, it will read as per the SAP technical name and it will post the data into SAP by reading it. In the video, the document shown is posted in third party software and posted directly in SAP with the help of API from backend in real time. So I'm going further, I'll show you the example now. So I'm talking about that only. It is posted in third party software. Okay, the data is and posted directly in SAP with the help of API from backend in real time. So this is the screen which I'm talking about, the example. So if you see the client had requested us to create a screen where they want this entry to be posted. So for that, I had you know, created the BAPI for this. Okay. So the fields which are necessary for the business to fill for the user who is going to use the software or portal, you can say, will be filling these data only, which is required. Like example, document date, posting date, company code, document type, currency, header text, reference, then whatever fields are required in the GL line item. Okay. GL account, amount, profit center, assignment, text, reference key this way. And vendor code also same thing, vendor amount, all these things. Okay. So he will be filling all these details which is required. And there are two options, simulate and submit. We have given simulate so that he can see the data before submitting it. Okay, so when he fills this example, he'll simulate. So after simulating, if he finds there is some issue, he'll go and click on edit or otherwise he'll click back and submit. 
Okay, once he submits, okay, through the API, okay, the data is been pushed into SAP. Okay, now if you see, and through that BAPI in the SAP, the document posted. So you'll see a success measure, the user will see. This is a document number which is generated in SAP 33806 4 times 07. Okay, and the fields which is required for the user to be seen there, which is important field which he wants to see. Okay, when I'm posted the document, I want this reference number company code fiscal year. Okay. So we have kept it in screen. Example, document number, reference number, company code, fiscal year, message type, S means successful and posted successful. So you know the document has been posted. Now, when we go towards the SAP screen now, <coughs> the document has been posted as, as shown earlier. See, 3380, 6, 4 times 07. See here, 3380, 6, 4 times. This is the entry which has been posted. Now, if you see the company code, fiscal year, post document date, posting date, then reference, then document header text here, document type. Just we'll go back to this slide. See here. Document is 21 there also. Then company code, document type is here, header text SK1000, invoice SK. DA001 is the vendor and 24 is this. Okay, one minute. I'll go back. See here. The vendor has come, the GL account, the amount. See, 2 lakh rupees is the amount which has come here. Profits and everything, date. Everything has come here. This is coming with the help of <clears throat> this is getting posted with the help of Babi. And the data is coming in a JSON format in that API. With that help of API, we are directly posting in real time. So, so that you know, uh, this video I have created so that people who are working in third party software integration with SAP will help them if they are thinking how to. Uh, push the data into SAP. They can use this, they can see this video and they can use this API. If what I have used in example, they can use that. And they can create a BAPI through that BAPI, you know, they will understand, okay, we have to do this in such a way, create a BAPI, give it to technical, he will map it, you know, through the same process, they can also use it if they are okay and everything is fine. So in this process, if you see, I have given all the fields which is required by the business, which so works as with the business requirement, what they want, okay. And it has been posted. If you want, you can give a T code also to it. So tomorrow, if you want to identify that it has been posted through portal, you can give the T code also, like we have given it to identification. Rest, if you see everything has been posted, whatever we have filled in the screen and required us for business, everything has come. SK1000, document type, date, posting date, everything. So now we'll go back to this slide. So this is the slide. Now you will, you know, have more clarity. What I was talking about. So basically, what I have done, I pushed the data from third party software through API into SAP. Okay. It is coming in API, it is working in JSON format. Okay. With the agreement of both the consultants. Okay. So pushing the data, pulling it to SAP, and the document gets posted. In SAP, BAPI is used to post the document. Okay. This is what I've created. So I hope now you are getting the clarity third party software, API, SAP. This is the third party uh, screen just for more again, you know, confirmation which we have filled. Okay. The data. Then we are pushing through the API. Okay. Document has been posted. You can get see it. This is in backend, it has been real time posted. In SAP, you have to just go and check the document number. If the user want to see, you can just go and it has been posted. So in SAP, we post it through BAPI. I hope most of things have been clarified in this video for if anything is there please go through the video you will understand it more better sap integration with third party software which i have worked on it as a in api format so i have explained in that format you can use other interfaces also which is preferable as per your uh, development so please do like and subscribe the channel for more sap videos thank you so much